Welcome back here. Let's play Hot Wheels Beat That. We're expanding in our quest to beat that. To find it and then beat it. Got, moved on to some some random person's attic. Probably not the same person whose bedroom and bathroom we've already raided. We're going to play with a train set. Perhaps we need to beat a train. We'll find out. So I did, in fact, unlock a new car. So we're going to have some fun with the demon, whatever this actually happens to play like. It's pretty strictly better than uh, 24-7. I don't know why they call it Drift King now, but it's the king. It's going to, from now on, be the king. I don't know. So it's being proposed that we consider this to be... Well, it's Ryan Storm. I can never remember his name. It's kind of awkward since Ryan Storm never actually drove anything. But, I know, I like him to appear somewhere. But, I need, to, I need to mull it over a little bit and think of who might be the king. Who's the king of the Hot Wheels universes? I'll have to think of who that's going to be. But for now, we're going to actually play as the demon. Just to try it out, and then probably going to go back to so fast for everything for additional challenge, since we're playing the easiest difficulty anyways. Direct hits, sure. 40 seconds of first place, that's never a problem. I always wonder, how specific were they? How much attention they put into this, specifically being 164th scale? We'll find out. Huh, so I actually haven't heard the song, heard the uh, music for this area yet. I wonder what it's going to be like. I'll find that out tomorrow morning when I actually edit this stuff. Let me cool get to hear it. What about... I've already talked about that sort of thing before. Hello, Danny. Get again. I love if you can actually steal boost from people by smashing them. Who are you right there on the only left? Are you somebody new? I think I already see somebody new without a... Are they? No, I don't think that was new. It would be weird seeing somebody new without actually having a chance though to... do much of anything. Yet. Alright, so that's where I gotta get someone. I'm listening. Yes, right, so that's one direct hit. If I can just get mines, I'd be good. Okay. It's probably a pretty good place for mines. So those should count as direct hits. Yep, awesome. So now I just need to stand first for a little bit longer. You know, really, playing as this thing, it's really just the same thing as playing as so fast, so with better handling. I guess better charge, too, but so fast actually legitimately has good stats aside from his handling. Having bad handling is an important thing, mind you. And it can contribute to you flying off the track in some strange gazes. But still, it's not that big a deal. I can live with it. That's probably why I'm actually going to play so fast this entire time. Well, it's kind of my goal, my intention. So, back to thinking about the Drift King. Who would the King be? I don't think we've really run to anybody that would be called King anything. Hello! Oh no! So that's one consequence of going too fast. That's, is that, that's called hot paint. That sounds kind of gross. Yeah. Get cruel about placing that mine in peculiar places. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to think of the few characters I know. I mostly Hot Wheels games you've played haven't really had characters. Of course, we can never forget about the ever so important and unforgettable race cam, who has probably been the one, who has most definitely been the one, in fact, to provide us with footage of all these games so far. Race cam is, of course, our only eyes. Uh, has always been the one following our vehicles, and has done a mostly good job in this game, despite sometimes turning around in awkward ways as we flip over. That's mostly a problem of flipping over. Flipping over, speaking of! Look at this, see? He even knows how to twist and turn as you go through corkscrews. You never forget how to appreciate our good friend, Race Cam. But, Race Cam aside, now introducing them to the Hot Wheels roster, wishing I <laughs> had thought to do so before. Uh, Howard Bees. Does that say Howard Bees? On the bottom there? Uh, of this car? In the back? That's a weird thing to say. If I had boost, I could totally make that. I'm totally willing to just throw myself into that wall every single time, though, instead of actually slowing down and... Oh man, I, I actually have a boost, I could use that. Instead of slowing down and not hitting the wall. Kings, though. Is anybody that's anything like royalty? There... I would, of course, love to at some point have Gearhead and company show up in some game at some point, but I don't know what that would be. I don't know what car Gearhead would even drive, honestly. Or Metacog, but Metacog drove the Vulture Roadster. There are a few cars, I guess, that 
an antagonist of the Lost Nexus could drive. Although he, I might as well charge. Yes, boost forever. Oh man, okay, I don't want to realize I can use my multiple boosts simultaneously like that. <laughs> I smashed the A button and used both of them somehow. But I can't remember what that dude's name is. But in any case, he drove that, um, not one point drove, drove Prototype 12, but another point he drove in GPA version that, um, Shadow Jet, that's what it was called. Haha, <laughs> I see even the CPU does it. More races, man. But I won't really call him a king. Nobody else was really a king in that game either. Nor do I remember anybody else's name in that game, so there's not really much to be done on that front. I'll pick another character I'm going to concern myself with, though. Science people. Be okay, scientific today. Okay, so no, no one even. Shift king. You know what? Fine. Map. You know what? Okay, new lore. Drift King 247 is, in fact. Ryan Storm. Ryan Storm is in fact royalty. King, or at least heir to the throne. That's where he got his money to put together his own stunt track challenge show. That money had to come from somewhere. I always wonder what the backstory of that game show would be. What the universe was like outside that one game show. It's kind of weird to entirely experience the universe through one game show alone. Kind of like Fusion Frenzy was, actually. But oh well. Boost through the loop. Well, that's probably going to be easy. Boosts are pretty common. Plus, there might even be a green ring there to boost for me. A chemistry area. That's kind of vague. The chemistry area. It's a science speedway. There should be chemistry everywhere. Because chemistry is the only kind of science. That's exactly what you know through culture. Through pop culture. Because science is nothing but mixing together flasks of colored fluids. Okay, but hit somebody in the, the chemistry area. And boost. The loop. Should be easy enough. So I believe we're going to be seeing... We saw Danny every time in every race, it seems like. So I assume we're going to be seeing at least somewhat often... Oh, that can be a wall. Yeah, it's going to be a wall. Yeah, there you go. Ryan over there. Ryan Storm. It's going to be weird. I've never actually said Ryan Storm's name with any amount of frequency before now. Even in the Stunt Jack Challenge games, I never had a reason to actually acknowledge his existence. I never really gave a due to credit to race game either, unfortunately. Actually, just a few days ago. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Spoiler on that thing. This guy's being oddly good up. Okay, we're not very sciencey yet. That's billiards. Science might come eventually. Okay, so they did give me everything to do that. Great. But I also accidentally called race cam space cam at one point earlier today. Oh man, no boost. I really want to take up a path. Finally, a good place to actually drift. I haven't. For some reason, lately I've just been forgetting about drifting in this game. Oh dear, up we go. Actually, we need to get uh, directed on somebody or something somewhere. So let's use stuff as we get it. But he was, in fact, for a, a very brief period of time, he was one space cam. Oh, great. Oh man, that was a pretty looking place. Um, I don't think direct hit would be what EMP is considered to be. It's just the chemistry area, I'm guessing. I need something to hit somebody with. Yeah, I need to get something in my hands on something first. What's with that fan turning so slowly up there? Oh, that's probably because of the lag, mostly. <laughs> there are reasons for that, actually. <laughs> no, where was I? Yeah, Space Cam. He was Space Cam for a very short period of time once. He just couldn't see very well. But it was still wonderful. Okay, so I do want to actually get use of this. Beautiful. Uh, it's not what I need. I need I'll think I've done anything I think I actually direct hit on anybody with anything. Um, I do know that mines are considered direct hits, so if I can get my hands on a mine, that would work just fine. That's all I need. Where are you, the guy in front of all of all people here? Go away. Okay, cool, mine. So that having been done, that means as long as nobody hits me with an EMP, I can just go on ahead put down a mine in the chemistry area 
and pretty much have a guaranteed hit because people always run the mines wherever I put them for some reason. Yep, see, it's, it's just a given. Like, they make no effort whatsoever to avoid mines, it seems like. Which makes the AI seem kind of lazy in this game. I mean, part of it is I'm on the user difficulty, sure. I can't help but wonder if... <laughs> I don't know how this thing's already down here. I can't help but wonder if the AI actually gets any better at higher, higher difficulties when it comes to things like trying to, like, overtake opponents and whatnot, or, um... Trying to actually dodge stuff. They have been shown to actually take shortcuts if they're open. They don't open shortcuts themselves, not intentionally at least. But I do know they can open shortcuts, strictly speaking, if they have homing um, rockets. So I've seen that happen before. It's gonna hit somebody. Yep. I do appreciate this game tells you whenever somebody hits your mind. It's actually kind of nice to know. It's very helpful for things where you actually need to land a specific number of hits on things. Look at that. That was some beautiful air movement there. Things are even going quite smoothly in the attic so far though, actually. It's interesting. Also, I didn't see... Uh, I didn't see Ryan Storm, man. I need to come... Do I want to call him Ryan or Storm? I won't keep calling his, him by his full name, Ryan Storm. I'm not going to call him Drift King Ryan Storm either. Probably. Maybe I will. But I need to start seeing him again. I mean, he's supposed to be driving the second best car right now. I didn't see either of the two better cars anywhere after the first part of this race, which was kind of weird. Okay, so another one of those sticky situations where we actually managed to get through two races in a decent amount of time, like reasonably quickly. But at the same time, we're kind of out of episode time now. But we're under episode time, but we don't have enough time to actually do another level, so... I think what we'll do is we'll just say that'll be that for this episode, and we'll probably have a longer episode somewhere along the line throughout the next four. And I'll make up for it somehow. Possibly the next episode, in fact. But in any case, I'll see you guys next time next episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. The research the attic. More. We're actually just running around through the same attic multiple times. But we're going to check this attic really, really, really thoroughly. There's lots of stuff in this attic. I need to clean it out. Bye, guys.